Hey, what's up, guys? Um, welcome on this new uh, Pendalis video. Um, today, I'm gonna talk about uh, a very specific topic and present you a very good and great product. And this product is called MB. As you can see, I am on the website of MB. And um, I will try to show you what you can do with this uh, this piece of software, uh, because they have different softwares, like uh, it's working like client server to free, uh, definitely free up your media and being able to break, um, I would say, the barriers of uh, internet and being able to play your different medias uh, all around the world and outside your home directly from your uh, personal computer. So today we'll um, just do a little uh, introduction uh, and uh, show you the basics of the basis of MB and how it works. So let me show you through a little schema. Before, I would say maybe 15 or 20 years ago, something like that, and uh, up to 30 years ago, we were having different physical medias, okay? So I would draw something like that here. Uh, we had like big libraries at home. It was a big mess because you had to, uh, you had different formats and uh, different uh, uh, different medias, piece of disks and uh, uh, VHS and whatever. So you had like the VHS, it was very popular. Uh, like uh, 35, 40, and a little bit before years ago. Um, and it was it was a very good technology um, because we didn't know anything else, so it was very good for us. And um, after that, you have like a compact disc for the music. And uh, you had other formats, like uh, I think it was laser disc, uh, it was it was uh, developed by uh, Philips, and uh, after that you had like the DVD, and uh, I remember that there were uh, there were a fight between DVD and uh, I think it was uh, uh, HDR or something like that. I don't remember exactly the name, but uh, there was a, there was a battle uh, a battle between uh, DVD R DVD. Uh, plus, etc. So different formats uh, from different different uh, companies, you know. Um, and after that, we had the Blu-ray, and this one uh, was was in competition with uh, I think it was the HDR. This one is 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 better. I did a mistake before, but this one is was the HDR. And finally, the blue ray was the the winner. Okay, uh, so it's a little bit. I I, I wanted to do a little uh, a little story on that. Um, but it was everything here. Uh, it's just a description of, of the nightmares we had before uh, Netflix or like streaming services like that. Uh, bef because we had different different formats like the VHS compact disc, whatever, uh, DVD, Blu-ray, and uh, and so on, you know. And we finally our apartments are becoming smaller and smaller, and we had to store all this stuff to be able to access our medias. And um, I am speaking. Uh, I am speaking uh, about movie, especially, but it's it's the same mess. It was the same mess with uh, video games because you had your your Xbox One, uh, Xbox One. You are your different cards for uh, just before a little bit before you have the Genesis console, Super Nintendo, things like that. So all the medias were physical. Today. I would say that I, I won't speak especially for video games, but video games um, is 
is going that way. Uh, the fact that everything is not physical now, it's just streaming and just media and everything is going through the internet. Uh, we had a good example with the uh, Stadia. Stadia is going to, to launch, uh, because it's end of October today and the uh, Stadia is going to launch in November, uh, 2019, uh, his new service. And uh, so it's it's a service from Google that allows you uh, to stream directly stream your your video games. Um, it's not especially needed in 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 the in the general medias like video game video um, I would say movies, TV shows, and things like that. So to remove uh, this 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 big mess. Um, like having different, uh, different formats, etc. Uh, a new service was launched, a new piece of software called NB. NB basically is able to, um, to take all the videos you, uh, you store on your computer. Uh, it could be different types. So basically I would say media, not videos especially, but I would say medias. And can, he can just take all these medias, analyze them, give you some, uh, nice and fancy features like, uh, getting all the information he can on the different medias you have on your computer, like downloading the posters, uh, the, the titles, the information, uh, the different actors that are playing in a TV show or a movie, uh, and downloading also also the, the the album poster uh images and everything you can for the music and other stuff you know so basically you can have different types of media uh, you can have the movies you can have the tv shows uh, you can have the music you can have like uh images too because you want to free to, to, to freedom every of your media. So images are, are part of them. It could be different types of uh, images. It could be your, uh, your personal images also. And um, you have also the eBooks. So everything, everything that is composed of, uh, of, uh, a, I would say a big range of zero and one. So basically everything that is computering, uh, medias and, uh, numeric, I would say, can be exposed, uh, by MB and crawled and scanned by MB. But the goal of MB is not only to scan. The goal of MB is to give you access. And you have two types of access. You have like internal access. And you have like external access. And both of them is giving you the ability to access all the medias I just described to you before. I just ex explained to you before. And uh, give you the ability to play on different devices. The devices um, are numerous. And honestly, if you, if you can't find any devices that you can play on today from MB, it's because it's like a very, very new device. Like it's, it was released like two days ago or something like that. Because today MB is able to cast on iOS devices, for instance. I would just, I would just, uh, tell you some devices there. So iOS devices, um, Android devices. It's, it's including, uh, like the phones and TVs. Okay. So phones and TVs because you have, a, you have an Android version for TV too. And, um, you have also like the, the fire TV, you have the PC computer because they developed also what we are calling MB theater. MB theater is able to run on a Windows computer. And um, you have also the web access. 
that is accessible from any kind of browser. You have like Chrome, you have like, uh, I don't know, Edge, Internet Explorer, it, even if it's, it's going to just disappear, but it's still supported and um, um, you have also, uh, after that you have um, Safari, Firefox, etc. Okay. And for the devices, you have also um, uh, the, the, the different consoles like uh, the PS4. You have like um, you have like the Xbox One, um, and you have uh, all kind of uh, of of devices, client devices, and you have also the Roku. So, and I didn't mention that, but everything is running under iOS too. So for the iOS device, you have like uh, iPad, um, Apple TV, which is great because the Apple TV, the last version of Apple TV is, is able to cast, um, to stream at 4K. Um, like the, the last fire TV or so, but, uh, it's just to mention that. And, um, and you have the, the iPhone. No matter iPhone you, you want, it's working well on them. And, um, and that's it. Um, I hope you, you have a good understanding on, um, what MB is and what MB is about to do. Just as a sum up, MB is giving you the capacity to take all the numeric, all numeric medias you have on your computer, it could be photo, images, videos, and for videos, it could be movies, TV shows. It's scanning all of them. It's giving you all the information around each, each medias. If it's a movie, it will download information. If it's a TV show, it will download information uh, based on the different uh, website. Uh, so it will get it will get information from OMDB, uh, the TV, DB, the the movie DB, and the, the TV DB for the TV shows, for example, for example, for instance. And it will grab all this information, download on your computer. So your computer is becoming a server. A movie server like Netflix, for instance, uh, and it's giving you the, the capacity to share all your medias on different uh, devices inside and outside. So I think it's a good sum up. It's, a, it's really enough for the first video because I wanted to give you an, a little introduction on what is MB and what is able to do and it, what it was designed for. Um, in the next video, I want to show you how to install it. Uh, we will just take uh, the Windows EXE, uh, EXE uh, installer and uh, we will go ahead and install MB. And uh, in the future videos, um, I will give you all the information concerning the administration. Um, also, uh, the first contact with the dashboard and settings, how to add uh, users, uh, adding your first uh, libraries to to explain, uh, to, to show, to tell, sorry, to tell MB where is my, where is my movie uh, directory, where is my TV show directory, all that kind of stuff. And I will explain you uh, different concepts also, um, like, um, understanding the transcoding because MB is is able to direct play, direct stream, but in some cases he has to transcode. So I will I will explain you all that kind of concepts and stuff. Um, so thank you very much. Um, and uh, I talk to you into the, the next video.